America's national pastime has moved to Canada, where the fans are really in love with baseball. In Toronto, they waited a mighty long time for the major leagues to expand, and now the young Blue Jays are kicking up more of a fuss in the American League than anyone thought possible, led by rookie manager Roy Hartsfield. The fact is the Jays drafted some players worth chirping about. Otto Velez, selected from the Yankees, got the Blue Jays off to a flying start in April with a hot bat. His power and 400 average made him the league's player of the month. And although he's since come down to earth, Otto has proved he belongs in the major leagues. So has Al Woods, who can run, field, and hit 300. And Doug Alt, who's shown good power, and now he shows the Red Sox he can also bunt. Every team needs a good shortstop, especially one that can help make the double play like budding all-star Bob Baylor, the Jays' number one pick from Baltimore, a top choice who's been among the league's leading hitters all season. I was fortunate enough to get drafted into the uh, Blue Jay organization, and being the first pick was even uh, more beneficial. Of course, the Blue Jays have got a long way to go to get it all together because very few of their players have had much big league experience before this season, but they're learning fast. And on the field, they're helped out by 39-year-old Ron Fairley. I was very, very fortunate in the fact that I was given the opportunity to be associated with players like Gil Hodges, Duke Snyder, Pee Wee Reese. And I said a long time ago that if I was ever given the opportunity to help a young ball player, because of the fellows that I've just mentioned have helped me out so much, that I'd certainly pass that information on to them. Ron's been doing fairly well with his bat, which has him among the league leaders in hitting. Fairly is shining in the twilight of his career, but for the Blue Jays, the sun is just beginning to rise. Manager Hartsfield is optimistic. The fans in Toronto share this enthusiasm. Only Boston and New York have better attendance records in the league. Yes, Toronto is mighty proud of its Major League team. Tuesday night at Yankee Stadium, it'll be the 48th All-Star Game, a fan's midsummer night's dream. The game means a lot to the fans. A record 12 and a half million ballots cast this year, topped only by a presidential election. The American League All-Stars are young and hungry for a victory. One is Kansas City's George Brett. What do you say, George? I just hope that I can go out there and show the 1.8 or 2 million fans that voted for me that they didn't make a mistake, and I want to help the American League win this year because it's been a while since we've won. Three of Brett's American League teammates will be making their first All-Star appearance. Willie Randolph, Yankee second baseman, a 300 hitter who at age 22 should be an All-Star for years. Shortstop Rick Burleson, the key to Boston's infield. Scrappy, aggressive, and hitting 300. And the man who hits the bullseye in Chicago, Richie Zisk, a National League transplant whose booming bat has boosted the White Sox in the first place. The remaining four starters add all-star experience to the American League team. Red Sox catcher Carlton Fisk. Injuries have abbreviated Carlton's all-star chances in the past, but his bat is really robust this year. Minnesota's Rod Carew top vote getter in the majors with well over four million votes. That's enough to win the governorship of Minnesota. It'll be the 11th all-star appearance of Boston's Carl Yastrzemski. At 38, Yaz is having one of his finest years ever. Through the years, he's consistently been an all-star standout. Show him how it's done in the field, too, Yaz. How about that? 
and New York's Reggie Jackson rounds out the American League. Reggie finished fast in the voting to beat out Boston's Fred Lynn. His all-star record should help the American League cast. In the 1971 All-Star Game, Reggie walloped a prodigious home run that's not likely to be forgotten. That was the last time the American League has won the Summer Classic. With Reggie now in a Yankee uniform, playing before the home crowd at Yankee Stadium, American League fans hope his election might portend a good omen. <laughs>